Today I'm going to do a review and talk to you about my favorite new piece of gear, the Magbox. Before we start, let's get one thing out of the way. My friend Spencer created Magmod, and so I knew about it way before it even existed. And I knew about this box a couple years ago. With that said, uh, they don't pay me for this, they don't even know I'm doing this, and I'll be the first to admit that although I've loved their products, I haven't really used them that much over the years. Um, mainly because we love soft boxes. And so while they have great flash modifiers and we've used them for things like gelling at receptions and stuff like that, we really haven't used them much for portraits, which is what most people use them for. Um, so I'm really, really excited that they're now delving into the world of soft boxes. Um, and as I will show you, I love soft boxes. Lots and lots of soft boxes. I am so excited to finally ditch some of these things. But before we talk about the mag box, I think with any new piece of gear, it's important to talk about why this exists and if we actually need it. One of the biggest problems over the years with soft boxes is that they're heavy and they're not easy to set up. And so that's been changing a little bit over the years. But even so, as the soft boxes get nice and light, they're still uh, kind of a nuisance to set up. So you have to get your hands inside here open them and close them and even when you close them they start to slide down and come apart which makes as you see which makes putting them back together really annoying when you're out on a shoot or want to take these things on location another frustrating thing for most soft boxes is they're not very easy to gel kind of have to tape on the inside gel kind of gets a little messed up or tape gets stuck in places it's just not very easy to do most soft boxes also suck up a lot of power so this is a big, deep box with my dog's fur all over it. There's two diffusion panels and a grid, and it really just sucks a lot of your light power out of it. The other problem is soft boxes take a lot of configuring. So I have some boxes that I can use with speed lights. I'll throw like a magma gel on there and I can gel it, which is great. But if a soft box eats up a lot of power, then I'm stuck using strobes and then I run into the problem of gelling. And so I'm always, when I'm shooting in studio, sort of fighting with which box do I use in which situation and with which light? Okay, so I wanna briefly dive in to my review of the Magbox. Specifically, I'm gonna talk about six things that I think are awesome about it. One of the main reasons is because I think a lot of people are getting into soft boxes for the first time and they're noticing that soft boxes are a little more cumbersome to set up. For those of us that have been using soft boxes for years, we, you know, we understand. There's quite a few features that I think are game changers and I wanna to touch on all six of those really quickly. First, this thing is pretty light. It's got some nice weight on the back and it's pretty light in the front, which means the weight is pretty grounded to your stand and it's not likely to tip over as much. Second, the bag is amazing. Stuff a bunch of crap in there, has pockets for things like gels or even the fabric diffusion covers, all that kind of stuff, and it fits the softbox in there. And I pulled this bag out because you notice that I checked it. So stuff this thing full of lighting gear, nothing breakable and just check the bag as is at the airport, which made it super portable and easy to travel with. Third, being able to gel is great. I recently had a photo in studio that I was trying to replicate like a pale green backdrop. I don't own a pale green backdrop, so I just mixed like a blue and a green gel, put it on my background, and all of a sudden I had a pale green backdrop. That was really, really tricky to do in the past. With this, I was just popping gels in and out until I got it right. Now, as a side note, the modularity of this is one of the things I'm most excited about. So right now, I have the box set up where I can throw these speed lights in there and strap it down, which is the way I've seen a lot of people using it. But with the adapters that are out, I can simply pop the box off. Sorry, I'll do it on camera. Simply pop the box off and it'll snap right onto my adapter. The idea that I can so quickly use a soft box between a speed light and a strobe is huge and especially as I add more and more of these as maybe they grow into different sizes the idea that I'll be able to interchange all of that easily is so big for someone that likes to use a lot of lights on occasion fourth this thing is powerful as you can see there are no inner diffusion panels we simply have a fabric panel on the outside or they have the focus diffuser and these things generate a lot of power if I'm in a dark situation the speed light on the lowest power can still be too much power. They have an ND filtered gel that I can pop in there and all of a sudden it's producing even lower power. For shooting outside, I can now throw one or two speed lights on here and compete with the sun, which was unheard of before. In a situation like a wedding, that's huge to be able to 
carry less gear, and still do everything I need to do with the softbox. Fifth is these two diffusion panels that are included with the mag box. So as you can see, just pop these things right off. And in this bag is this little piece of magic, which acts just like a grid. I love that they included this bag because again, when we're on the go, I can just tie this sucker to anything I'm carrying and have basically a grid or a softer fabric option at my disposal whenever I want. Okay, last, the thing I'm maybe most excited about is this little contraption they created called the mag shoe. So when Spencer told me about this whole system they were creating, I was excited about it. But when he told me about the shoe, my first question was, can it bend down to 90 degrees? And it does. Instead of dealing with booms and all the things we have to use in studio, we now have so many more options for the way light is falling, especially between our fabric and our focus diffusers. So we have like a grid or a softer source. And now we can point this in basically any direction we want because it makes it so easy to adjust. Not only is this great for the shooter, but it's great for the assistants too, because I've had so many times over the years when I've tried to make Amy or Lindsay or someone hold a light stand like this and then their arms start shaking because they're trying to get this thing close to parallel. Just the fact that we can simply bend this shoe down as low as we want is a real time saver. And Amy and Lindsay are gonna be so much happier that I don't have to make them do that as much anymore. So that's my brief review of some of my favorite features about the Magbox. I know that was a very positive review, but to be honest, this is my favorite piece of gear I've gotten in a long time. Um, so I'm really excited to start using this and finally supporting my friend the way I should have been all along. I have a few more videos planned over the next couple of weeks. We're going to cover pricing, which is a hot topic for a lot of people. We're also going to talk about traveling with gear, which we touched on today, and a few other things that I have planned. So feel free to subscribe or check out our work at hofferphotography.com slash blog for all of our recent stuff. And we're on social media at Hoffer Photography. Thanks for watching.